Okay, time for a new monthly segment called Monthly Mailbox. Now in this first edition of Monthly Mailbox, I'm explaining what this is about. So Monthly Mailbox is going to be me going through any packages that I've received from purchases, giving a look over what I'm actually doing with these and um, you know, showing it to you guys as well as some of these products may be new to our hobby industry um, or you may not have seen a review on. Now they're not in-depth reviews that I'm going to do, they're going to be very basic, very simple, but uh, essentially it's just sharing with you guys what I've had delivered. Now, as you can see, I do have two parcels uh, here. You've got my parcel here of some products that I've purchased. Plus, this is a bit of a mysterious uh, box, which uh, later on I'll open up and show you what's in there. So that'll uh, stay tuned and you'll see what's in there. Now, going into this uh, box here, I have removed my address, of course, uh, mainly because I don't want you guys knowing where I live. Uh, but uh, I'll open this box up together and I'll show you what I've actually gotten. Okay. So we'll open this up. Now I have cut this uh, open uh, just so uh, it's easy so I'm not cutting it open in front of you guys. So, gotten a nice seven plank wagon from Oxford Rail. Now these are my first uh, items of rolling stock from Oxford Rail. I've been eyeing them off and uh, wanted to compare them because the prices were very good. Um, and I wanted to see what they were like. So again, I'll zoom in and take a look at some of these. So a nice uh, seven plank wagon. Another seven plank wagon. Sorry, just trying to get rid of that reflection there. This one's uh, weathered. Oh, look at that. Another seven plank wagon as well. And I think you can uh, safely say, you know, <laughs> Most of these are seven plank wagons, all from Oxford Rail. Now these are essentially the beginnings of what will be my lengthy coal train that I'm going to create. So each month I'm going to be buying, uh, at minimum, you know, a couple of these sorts of seven plank wagons just to build up that long rake. And uh, finally, gotten myself a nice brake van to go with uh, everything as well. So I have been waiting on this very intently and uh, I'll get a few more brake vans in the future. To detail those, I'm going to try also these little kits by Dapol. Now, these were extremely cheap. Um, apparently, each one of these packs uh, has real coal inside, um, some basic instructions, you know, some cardboard as well, um, and enough to do three wagons, apparently. So, again, in the future, you'll see a video of me doing that with my new wagons just to see how they go. So, I've got two packs of those. Yep. And the other thing I purchased now, I swooped on these for a good reason. These are the Hornby Railroad uh, vent van kits. So these are an LMS uh, model. Now the reason I've gotten these is I plan to have a long uh, freight train of these sorts of vent vans going around. Now I'm going to repaint these, get rid of the LMS symbol, change the numbers and all that sort of stuff just to make them a bit unique. Um, and frankly, given the quantity that I'm going to want or going to use, um, these packs were far more economical to purchase and for me to change them uh, as I go on. So I've got two lots of those. So quite a fair bit of freight and rolling stock this month to keep me busy. So having a closer look <clears throat> at these railroad vans from Hornby, um, as you can see here, they're not too bad. Um, as you, you know, look at the undercarriage, you've got plenty of detail with, uh, you know, infrastructure. I mean, I've got no clue what all this stuff is apart from suspension. Um, but, uh, you know, a lot of good detail in the undercarriage part. Um, as you can see with the actual model itself, we've got plenty of rivet detail uh, along with the metal reinforcement, timber planks, um, you know, very nicely moulded detail, um, really, for, for a railroad item. Um, obviously, the ends themselves are in the same category as well. Um, take a look there. You've got plenty of rivet detail as well. Um, obviously, the couplings on these don't have NEM pockets, as we can see, so they've got the tension lock couplers. Um, but in time, what I'll plan to do is cut the, uh, remove these, put in some um, NEM pockets and, of course, KDs down the track. Um, and we can see we've got some clips near the side here. Um, so we can actually take the top of it off, which I intend to do to repaint it. So for, uh, you know, this three-pack of uh, railroad vent vans, uh, extremely economical, very well worth the money, I believe. And, uh, 
you know, I'll, uh, like I mentioned, I'll repaint these, uh, recolor them a bit to suit the period that I'm doing, um, and we'll go from there. So let's check out one of the other models I've got. So as mentioned, these are my first Oxford Rail um, rolling stock of, um, you know, freight wagons. So I'll show you uh, just what's actually these are like. Um, obviously, they come in a good uh, sealed ice cube uh, system, very similar to what uh, some of the others do, like Buckman. Um, now this is a pre-weathered thing. Now one thing I can already notice is looking at the wheels here. Um, you can see where the weathering was applied. So if I rotate this in such a way, so the wheels are probably like that. And as we turn them around, you can see they're quite clean in some parts. So if I rotate that around, you know, we're going to have this, uh, I'm going to call that a disco sort of <laughs> appearance. But judging that, that is rolling an awful long time. Wow, that that's still rolling. Okay, so they're very free and rolling, uh, quite good. Now, having a look, we've got still plenty of undercarriage detail here. Um, as we can see, plenty of uh, you know rivets, bolts, uh, all sorts of detail. The buffers themselves are incredibly uh, detailed as well, um, very fine. They're not sprung, of course. Um, looking underneath, we've actually got undercarriage detail as well um, and NEM pockets as well, so we can put KDs in these, which is great. Um, so looking at, uh, judging just by looking at this, I mean, it is nicely weathered as well, of course, with the exception of the wheels. Um, but, you know, she's, uh, that'll be a nice wagon. They've also weathered inside there um, suitably as well. Um, not too bad. These are my first uh, Oxford Rail uh, wagons. And, um, you know, they're competitively priced, you know, compared to the likes of Hornby and uh, Buckman. Um, these come in at uh, a fraction of the price. Um, and truth be told, these are incredibly good value. Um, so very big fan. So I won't go th through each of these uh, wagons that I've gotten because um, obviously they're very similar, just different prints. But um, yeah, they look quite good. Let's have a look at the brake van. So here's the next thing that I got, and uh, now this is an XLMS brake van by Hornby. Um, so we'll bring it in a bit more closer. So we've got some nice looking uh, detail with those planks uh, there. Plenty of undercarriage and rivet detail uh, there as well. Obviously no. Um, Detail underneath these uh, these style tension lock couplers. Again, I'll have to remove those at some point. Um, put on NIM pockets, but um, otherwise a nice, um, just a simple and nice looking um, brake van, I think. Which uh, obviously, you know, I'm in desperate need of one. So here it is, and uh, I'll add a few more as well. So we'll see how they look uh, going around the layout as well. Um, Okay, now one of the other things that's occurred is I've received this mysterious parcel from a fellow YouTuber. Um, now I have taken my address off here uh, just because I don't want you people to know where I live. Um, but uh, let's pop this open and see what's in here because uh, even he hasn't told me what's actually in here. So it could be a lump of coal, it could be a poster, it could be a note saying that I'm a terrible YouTuber. We'll wait and see. Okay, so I've just cut the tape essentially right around the uh, seams of the box here. So doing the first unboxing, haven't actually seen what's in here to know. So uh, you're about to see what I'm about to see. Let's pop her open and see what's inside. So well packaged, of course. And uh, oh, look, here's the uh, details on who's uh, sent the package to me, of course. What an excellent magnet. That's going up uh, in a very favourite spot. And oh, look at this. What a champion. I need some of these. And we've been talking about this uh, between Paul at Galgum Hall and myself. And uh, we were talking about these uh, the other day, actually, about the, um, or a few different things, not just the building itself, um, but obviously the details, particularly around the plastic moulded shot pieces and everything. It's very good for scratch builds and adding these details in. And um, <laughs> he's obviously found this and sent it to me. So, And that was uh, sent from Paul at uh, Galgum Hall. Now, uh, for those that don't know Paul at Galgorm Hall, I've put a link to his channel uh, in the description below, um, and I'll obviously put a link at the end of this video uh, as well. So, uh, you know, he does a lot of great uh, material uh, and content on his YouTube channel, has a lot of great uh, scratch building, uh, as well as a, a really good, interesting layout as well, very unique. Um, so if you haven't seen him, check out his channel um, and have a squeeze. And, uh, and to you, Paul, you're a cheeky bugger. And uh, thank you so very much. Very, very thrilled. Okay, so there's the uh, the wagons themselves now on the track. So as you can see, a nice red and green one. Then I've got uh, three weathered ones that I've got. So these are from Oxford Rail and uh, very nice. Obviously, I've got uh, another two seven-plank 
uh, wagons here, which I've uh, hit with some pigments uh, ages ago. Um, some other uh, bits of rolling stock. And there's the LMS uh, vent vans that we mentioned, and of course the brake van at the end. So I'm going to run around the layout now and see how they look going around uh, and pulling them by the Super D over there. There we go guys, so that's the uh, wrap up there for monthly mailbox, uh, the first one for you. Um, obviously, uh, as you can see, the stock's all running quite well. Uh, very keen to get rid of this LMS uh, logo on these vent vans. Um, very happy with them, you know, not bad for um, 
the Hornby in those packs, especially part of the railroad range. And, uh, and obviously when we start looking at uh, these Oxford Rail wagons, having a good rake of those uh, following behind and making this a big coal train is certainly going to look quite good. So there we go, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned and uh, obviously hit that like and uh, feel free to comment on these. And, uh, and of course, if you're watching this for the first time, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can follow my future progress and obviously any other future uploads on my channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye for now.